This is a really quick video for those of you who do film or media or enrichment and often in different classes and find it difficult when you've just done some video work to find it when you've moved class. So the easiest way to keep it safe is to keep it all in Google Drive. So if you put your SD card in and look in Finder in the bottom left hand side, you'll find a list of all the drives here and this one is my SD card. So if I click that, you can see I've got a DCIM folder here, which is usually what the videos have got. And if I open that, I can see all the folders that have video footage in. Now my stuff will usually be the last folder, so I'll go in there, and there's all my footage. The easiest way to do this is simply to drag it onto your desktop. And you can see here it is over here, and I can do whatever I like with that there. Now, um, to, to keep it safe, the easiest thing to do is if I go to my Google Drive here and my enrichment folder, I can just drag that in. It takes a little minute to upload, and then once it's up there, you'll be able to see uh, the red symbol. Now, occasionally it takes a couple of minutes uh, to just kind of process, so you won't be able to see it necessarily. You'll see a little red image uh, like this one here but you'll soon be able to to get it as soon as you can see a little picture like this so once it's uploaded the easiest thing to do in order to work on it in iMovie is to get it down onto the desktop so when you have uh, anything that's in Google Drive and you want to use it on a new version of iMovie all you do is right click this hit download and sometimes it'll go to the desktop but if it doesn't just Go to Finder and look in your Downloads folder. So you can see there it is, and again, I can just take that straight to my desktop. And from there, it's really, really simple just to uh, open iMovie. It's over here. And then to import it with this little button up here. And that just goes, here are all your videos, here's all the stuff on your desktop, so I'm going to just bring this in here and import it and then it will go into my drive here and then I can start using it to uh, basically create the video. Now the thing is once you've started editing it's really irritating if you can't then get to the same computer because iMovie only works on the same computer uh, for your project and if you haven't got the same computer then basically what you've got to do is export it at the end of the lesson and then uh, re-import it from Google Drive the following lesson. So the way to export it is this. You've got your timeline here, and you go to, uh, oops, the video there. Let me just get this back up. And you need to share it. Now this little button here is the share button, okay? You see it in the top right hand side. If you press that, it will give you a variety of different uh, options. The one you want is file. If you click that and basically name it whatever your, um, your file name is or your group name or whatever, um, and then press next, it will ask you where you want. So again, if you put that onto the desktop and save it, what will happen is I shall cancel that for the moment. If you press save, it goes into this little thing here. I've already discussed this on various tutorials, but the clock will start to tick. And once that has been uh, exported, you will see it on the desktop and you will see a little message up here from iMovie saying that it's finished the export. That's the file that you then need to drag into your Google Chrome Drive. Remember, we just said we pick it and we drag it in like this. Really easy. And oh, I'm just going to say yes to that. And then basically, you download that next time and that allows you to access all the footage that you've edited so far in your new room and on your new computer.